What is going on guys? Really noob here bringing you episode 3 on the Fast Elite class setups. Now in this episode we are going to get insane. We are going to get insanity. What that means is I'm bringing you the best class setup for the HBR A3 Insanity. Now before we get started, let me tell you that the first two episodes I've uploaded have gotten great feedback. I will be posting a link to our Facebook account and our Twitter account in the description down below. Let's get started. Let's equip the HBR A3 Insanity. Let's take a look at the stats. These stats are up one damage up two fire rate, down one handling, but it also limits the ability to put sights on the gun, which isn't a bad thing because the iron sights on this gun are pretty damn good. So let's equip the insanity. The first thing we're going to do is look at what makes the gun powerful, and I'm going to show you two classes again, one for playing passive and one for running and gunning. Let's look at the passive class first, and the first attachment we are going to use to make it accurate is foregrip. Now without foregrip, with the fire rate of this gun, it can kick pretty good. The recoil is pretty obnoxious, but with foregrip it helps that and it keeps your aim on sight. The second attachment we're going to use is extended mags. And what that basically does is it gives you more ammo per clip. Those are the attachments for the passive class. Let's go on to the perks. The first perk we're going to use is, is normal, what I use in all my classes, and that's low profile, and that will keep you off of the UAVs. The second perk we're going to use is blind eye, and that will protect you from AI controlled score streaks. The third perk we're going to use, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put scavenger on it, and I forgot to tell you, we're going to use perk 3 degree to give you an extra attachment, along with scavenger, we are going to use blast suppressor. Now scavenger, if you're new, Basically, you can um, resupply your ammo from uh, dead enemies. And Blast Suppressor, you can go around the map using your exo movements. You can double jump without being seen on the map. Now, like I said, when you play passive, you are going to rely on your score streak for most of the game. So let's go ahead and look at our score streaks. We're gonna, I'm going to first show you the score streaks you use when you're playing solo. The first score streak we're going to use is UAV. And we're going to customize that by putting extra assist points and extra time. So your UAV will be up there for longer and will give you more points per kill. The second score streak we're going to use, like I said, is one of the best score streaks in this game. You can get anywhere from two to four kills every time. And that is the bomb and run. What you want to do with your bomb and run is you want to call it an ASAP and put it towards the enemy spawn. You will get multiple kills with this. You will get quad feeds with this. You will get furry kills with this. It is awesome. After that, your UAV should still be up in the air. That will lead you to your next score streak, which is the Warbird. And what we're gonna do with Warbird is we're gonna put Aggressor on it. You can put extra time on it. You can put rockets on it. But for now, we are just gonna put Aggressor on it. And what that does is it seeks out enemy targets. It will go around the map. It will kill enemies. It will get you a load of kills. And that pretty much will get you your fourth score streak. We're going to go ahead and put that wild card on. And we're going to put the Paladin on. Paladin is a great score streak. It, you got to control it. But if you hide and you, you can get multiple kills with it, you can go on Unstoppables with it. That is what you're playing solo. But if you're playing with teammates, if you're like me and play with your clan all the time, we are going to put UAV on it and we are going to put support threat detection and I like to put enemy direction on it if you don't like enemy direction you can go ahead and you maybe put scrambler on it or extra time assist point speed anything you want but for now we're gonna put enemy direction on it your second score streak we're gonna use is the system hack the system hack is one of the most used score streaks in this game I love it and what I'm gonna put on it is extra time extra time and dis able exosuits that right there like i said in the past video is a rage quitting score streak but if you don't want to put another extra time on it i like to put flash on it what flash does is it mind blows your opponents when the score streak goes off there is a big white light in there and it confuses enemies it pisses them off it makes them rage quit so like i said but we're gonna go ahead and put extra time on it just just for just for shits and giggles Excuse my language. Your third score streak we are going to use is the Warbird. 
And what I put on the Warbird is I put Aggressor, Extra Time, and Rockets. It does cost 1,400 points, but if you're playing passive, you are not rushing around the map. You can get quick kills, easy kills, pick off enemies at one area at a time. It will add up pretty quickly. And let's go add that wild card streaker, and that will give us a fourth score streak. And we are going to use the bomb and run. What we're going to do on bomb and run is put additional bomber on there. It costs 1,025 points, but it will call in additional bomber. There you guys have it. The passive class. I don't have any secondaries, no exo ability, no exo launcher. Let's go ahead and clear this class and we are going to show you how to run and gun with the insanity. So let's go ahead and equip the insanity. And let's start with the attachments that makes the gun powerful. We are going to put foregrip, it is a must have. Like I said, without foregrip this gun will kick like Chuck Norris. Your second attachment we're going to use is quick draw. What quick draw will do is help you ADS faster. It won't turn this gun into an SMG, but with the high fire rate and quick draw, it will compete with the SMGs, I should say. Your third attachment, we're going to go ahead and add that primary gunfighter gun fighter attachment. That will give you a third attachment, and we're going to go ahead and put stock on that. And what that will do is add two mobility to your weapon. Basically, you can run around the map easier. I guess it will turn this gun into an SMG, depending on how you play it. Let's go ahead and add the perks. Your first perk, no change, low profile. Your second perk, no change, blind eye. Let's add that wild card for perk 3 greed. And your first perk we're going to use is scavenger, no change in that. And then your second perk is blast presser, so no changes in the perks. The only thing different about this class is you're going to run extra one attachment and down one score streak. Let's go into the score streaks. If you're playing solo UAV, with extra assist points, extra time. We're going to go ahead and put the system hack on it with extra time and assist points. And then we're going to put the Warbird with Aggressor on it. Now that's if you're playing solo. If you're playing with clan, we're going to delete these. Your first score streak we're going to use is a UAV. We're going to put the enemy direction, threat detection, support in it. Just like we did with the passive class. Your second score streak we're going to put system hack on it. I'd like to use time, time, and disable exosuits. And your third score streak is the Warbird with Aggressor, with Rockets, with Time. This right here is your run and gun class. I showed you passive. I showed you what to do when you're playing solo. I showed you what to do when you're playing with a clan. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Please comment in the comment section on what gun you want to see next. If you're new, please subscribe. And always, guys. Oh.